modules for the HECA algebra. That, that, that's the, the statement. And the, I mean, this, this is not uh, a hard theorem, uh, but th this, is, this is how you, you make the, the category of GK modules into, well, I'll, I'll write the ring here. Um, Uh, these are K or finite distributions on, on G of R uh, supported on K of R. And, and the multiplication is convolution of distributions. So th this, I mean, th this is uh, a a an approximately unital algebra, and so this this is the, the setting in which you can, well, th these are the rings that you want to change. Um, so I, I'll, I'll just state uh, Harishandra's main theorem again. Um, so the, the big definition that Harishandra makes uh, is of quasi-simple representations. In lots and lots of accounts, people talk about admissible representations. This K uh, admissible means finite K multiplicities. But that's not a fundamental notion. The, the fundamental notion is quasi-simple which is that the center of the enveloping algebra acts by scalars. So, um, that, that's Harishandra's good category of, of representation. So the statement is, if you have an irreducible GK module, it's automatically quasi-simple. A unitary group representation is automatically quasi-simple. Um, and, and, sorry, this B should have been W. Uh, if you have a quasi-simple group representation, then taking, ah no, sorry, B, B is the group representation, then taking K finite vectors makes a bijection between closed invariant subspaces of B and GK submodules of VK infinity. Um, and because of three, a, an irreducible quasi-simple representation of G goes to an irreducible GK module, and the last statement is that you get all the, every irreducible GK module comes from some irreducible quasi-simple of G. Um, and that's, uh, yes? Yes, that's the definition. The, uh, sorry. Admissible. Uh, so, irreducible admissible modules automatically have an infinitesimal character. Um, yeah, the, the, an, another of Harishandra's theorems, not stated here, is, is that these irreducible quasi-simple representations are automatically admissible. Um, so that, that's, that's why the, the term gets thrown around so much. But this notion of quasi-simple is a very natural and reasonable notion. Admissible just looks like one of those things you do because you don't know how to think about anything else. Uh, quasi-simple is, is the right notion. OK, so I, I will stop there and uh, start with actually doing a Langlands classification tomorrow.
Yes. Uh, it, it, that's the only place it makes sense. You, 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 the, the notion is that the action of some enveloping algebra elements, and those are defined by differentiated group action, and so it only makes sense on smooth vectors. That's uh, correct. That, that, that's uh, a consequence. Uh, I mean, in this theorem, you, you should say, take vectors that are both k-finite and smooth, but at the end of the theory, you, you see that k-finite implies smooth. I have a historical question. Uh, when, when did quasi-simple emerge as the fundamental this is yeah. defined by Harishandra in the, his early papers, representations of semi-simple v-group on a Banach space, something like that. The, the definition is there. Uh, Sorry, 54 sounds about right, yeah. Uh, okay, but still, as you say, in the literature for many years, it seemed like admissible was given prominence. See, um, that, that's absolutely uh, correct, and uh, the problem is the, the same one that the Langlands is addressing there, that many authors are idiots. <laughs> oh, is that what he intended? That's what he meant by the statement? I, one of my most vivid mathematical memories is uh, sneaking into the back of a Langland seminar at the Institute uh, with Ben Barbash. And the seminar went on for, for two hours. And, and after an hour, he looked up and said that those who don't, didn't know what they were getting into are, are certainly free to leave.